sub two. I thought I'd take a spin out here today in freezing freaking cold for no damn discernible reason. Uh, on my GZ250, this thing is basically a moped. And yeah, so I'm gonna putt along and uh, randomly talk about nothing. So yeah, I got this bike, uh, when did I get this bike? Last August. Yeah. So this is, this is not actually not my first bike. My first bike was a Honda Nighthawk 450. And you're probably wondering why would you go back to a 250? Because that first bike was like 10 years ago. I wrecked it. Then I didn't ride for like 10 years. And to get back into the swing of things, uh, I picked up this bike. So, yeah. Um, basically, I'm thinking uh, this year, first of all, I'm going to get a different bike. I'm working on the uh, CV 550, although I think I'm going to sell that bike. I really like the cruiser style bikes, and uh, I want to do like a long ride. I'm thinking a, a trip, cross country trip, um, and just show some uh, footage and whatnot. Take some cool pictures, and uh, yeah. So, of course, I'm going to need something better than this GZ250. Now, what I'm thinking is probably thinking that the Suzuki Boulevard series, uh, C50s, C90s, uh, the Honda Shadows, they look uh, pretty good, the Yamaha V-Stars. I've been looking around and just gauging some of the prices of some of these used bikes because I'm not going to get... I'm not going to get a, a brand new bike for this. I mean, I'll get something used with some decent mileage on it. And, uh, frankly, I don't really... Unless you've got the money to blow like that, I don't re really ever see myself getting a brand spanking new bike because just like a car, you drive it off the lot. What's the point? Just lost, like, 90% of your value. So, you know, unless it's like a Harley, but eh, I'm, not, I'm not really... I'm not eh, Harley. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. So for the CB550, I have to, right now, all that's left on that is I gotta put new tires on it, uh, do the registration, because actually that bike had no title, so I gotta go do the Vermont thing. I gotta drag that all the way up to Vermont. And, uh, get a plate, come back to, uh, PA, and get a title and all that. And, yeah, then I should be good. So, really, all it needs is tires. Uh, and what else? It needs tires. I got the brakes. Uh, seat. And I need some gas tank for it. Because uh, the gas tank that I got was... I don't know what, I don't know what the previous owner did, if he, he, he modified the, uh, petcock, and he moved it further back, so right now you can't put on the tank because the petcock would smash into the, uh, carb, so, I, which I don't want, I don't want to cut that tank, I don't want to alter it, I'm just kind of tired of this project, I just want it to be done, so... Um, I could get another 550 tank, I'm not sure. Actually, this uh, GZ250 tank, is it's the same type in that um, it will fit on the rubber grommets, so I don't know. Um, or maybe I can just find a, a cheap 550 tank. Um, I hate this intersection because of my car here. I'm always spinning my wheels just because they should really have like a, a light here or something like that because people idle here, everything drips down from the cars and it's just oil slick. So, but yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's what I was going to do. What was I saying? Oh. Anyways, I'm going to sell that. I'm going to sell this 250 scooter because it's, uh, it is a good bike to learn on, it, it, and, and either for a first timer or like me, where you're like relearning stuff and re getting acquainted. It's got a really low center of gravity. It's just really easy to handle. 
the only thing I don't like is the gearing is really, really short. So you're constantly shifting, which, you know, I guess that's a good thing and a bad thing. I mean, you learn how to shift. But, uh, yeah. So this bike, I'll definitely sell it. And, uh, like I said, I'm thinking of Yamaha or Honda Shadow Series. I don't really need a big bike. I've seen people do plenty of cross-country trip vids and whatnot on, uh, you know, 250s, Ninja 250s, or we saw a dude do it on a WR250R, and, uh, yeah. But, uh, I like my cruiser because my back is screwed up from work a couple years ago. I screwed it up, and frankly, I can't sit on an enduro <laughs> or a sport bike. It's just, it's just too annoying. Uh, but these cruisers are fine. So, yeah, look for that uh, upcoming. And uh, I'm thinking about setting off come April, May. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to go. But, uh, you know, probably hit up a couple of bike rallies just to do it. Because <laughs> I have nothing better to do, really. And, uh, yeah, travel the country, which... This will be my first time going cross-country on a bike. I did it in a car. It's pretty cool. Although that was in the middle of winter. It was, it was like February. I took Donner Pass in a car in the middle of February during, like, a blizzard. <laughs> and uh, I don't know how I did not die. Because you couldn't see, like, ten feet in front of you. And, you know, you have thousand feet drops. And everything was iced over. And it was instant death. I don't, I don't know what the hell... I was 20-something, so, yeah. But anyways, I'm thinking probably the southwest. I'll go up to, uh... I haven't gone to Montana, and I haven't gone to Idaho yet, so... I want to see those states. Um, Nevada is my favorite. I don't know why. Just because it is a wasteland. And, uh... just reminds me. It's, it's just awesome. Uh... Plus they, uh, was it, no, no, Arizona has a machine gun shoot, I think. A whole tree or something like that. Uh, that would be cool to, to go to, because uh, I've never shot a machine gun, and uh, that would be cool. So I'll have to see when they do that, and I'm going to do this probably for a couple months, and uh, I might even move, I don't know. I can't stand uh, this state anymore. <laughs> PA is really annoying. The only thing that's good about this state is, I guess, probably just like California. We've got really curvy roads here, and uh, it's just, you know, although there's a lot of wildlife too, so you come around the curve and smack into a freaking deer and just, you know, explode all over your bike, and then you go flying off and get gored by antlers and all sorts of nasty stuff. But, yeah, so. But basically, uh, yeah, that's all this is, an update vid. Hopefully the, uh, whatever. So next vid should be, maybe, I don't know, we will just ro roam around on this thing. Not that there's anything interesting around here to, uh, to ride past or whatever. Uh, and plus, this, this bike, I, I can't really take this on the highway now. This, this does not belong on the highway. I did for a short stint um, on the local local highway, and uh, it's not it's not a comfortable feeling. Um, I don't know why. It's just it's just too light, too light, and uh, not enough power at all. So yeah, it's a death trap as far as that's concerned. But some of the back roads are nice. Um, still, it's really underpowered because even the hills around here. <laughs> I mean, you really have to drop gears to get up the hill, and that's disconcerting, too. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to need at least a 750, 800 cc, somewhere around there. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, if you have any uh, bikes that you think are, are uh, good bikes to check out, especially cross-country, I'm trying to stay cheap, um, just because... I don't really see the need to dump a lot of money on a, uh, a bike uh, 
for something that I'm probably going to ride into the ground. Hopefully not literally, but you know, I'm going to ride it for a while. So mid-sized cruiser or something like that. I've seen a couple cheap bikes around here that are pretty good. Um, but yeah, if you have any um, stories about uh, the Honda Shadow or the Yamaha series and stuff, uh, post a comment. Let me know. Um, I've been looking at other people's videos and you know they seem like decent bikes. So yeah, basically that's all I got to say. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace.